Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement on this beautiful spring day. Seriously, in my area, it's 80 degrees right now and I'm in the basement because you all are saying you must watch the next episode. Lucifer season two, episode five. Chloe has been in a car accident, is fall off, reneging on the deal because Lucifer found a loophole. I don't know, we shall see. And we had the best scene, my favorite scene in the series so far, the girls bonding, Barbara breaks out naturally. I think what I enjoyed about it is we had each character respond to the same situation exactly, like it wasn't homogenized. Each one had its own little individual take and I enjoy that so much. <laughs> Speaking of all y'alls, Chloe's house hunt. Mm -hmm. A lot of you have said it's because mom it's maybe a little pushy about what she wants and not what Chloe wants or Trixie wants. Okay, that's fine if this was an episode or two after Rebecca De Mornay, but this isn't, this is a good long time, I think. Maybe it's not, maybe my perception of time is off, but it seems like it's been a good long while since we've seen mom for Chloe to now take this step. But she's getting a roommate. <laughs> Okay, so are we ready? We are ready. I'm here because I'm watching all the things today. I'm starting off with some sparkling water and lime because it's gonna be a lot of shooting today. I hope you have your favorite beverage with you as well. You're gonna remember a full episode watch along is available on Patreon. Hit like, subscribe, all the chingy ching chings, and <laughs> let's get to it. Is a chaos monster or a savior? Oh, chaos monster! Chaos monster! Chaos monster. Oh! 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 Chloe, why are you crawling out of the car that way so quickly? Michael Imperioli? What's going on with you? Well, there's a minuscule, albeit highly unlikely chance that your car accident was a result of my father trying to send me a message. Lucifer, it was a freak accident. You had nothing to do with it. Right, okay. <laughs> she didn't <laughs> interpret that to mean, wait a minute, your father ordered a hit on me? <laughs> Knowing, some of the nefarious things Lucifer has been involved in. What? Living with Maze. Maze and I have become friends. Sort of. I think it's gonna be fine. Oh, really? Oh! <gasps> Whose are those? Wait, I missed. Are those Maze's or are those Chloe's? Yeah, what's the address? <laughs> Hi, Lucifer. Okay. Ah, um, ah, toys in there. Go. Yes. <laughs> Besides, that's your bedtime story. I'll read that to you tonight. No, read it to me now. Oh. Oh. Best birth control in the world. Come here. Someone's upset. What's going on, kiddo? I am upset. Maybe your job is really dangerous. That cops get hurt all the time. And mommy's job can be dangerous, but I'm really careful, okay? I'm not gonna get hurt. Aside from the bar fight I caused earlier. All right, any idea on the victim? Uh, yep, his name it's is- Wesley Cabot. Star of the body bags movies. Absolute icon in the action genre. I adore his work. He had a drug problem, right? Not only if you consider ingesting millions of dollars worth of cocaine a problem. <laughs> I call it a Tuesday, but apparently it's frowned upon. <laughs> Dude was hit with a nunchuck statue. That's the first for me. The Golden Nunchuck Award for Best Fight Sequence 1998. Once I get all this back to the precinct, I'll see what I can find. Oh, Where's no, Lucifer. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 no. no. Not cool. I know who the killer must be. The dreaded Ninja Izaki from Body Bag 6, Tokyo Fire. I will avenge you. I grabbed Thor's hammer. Who found the body? A uh, kid. Said he saw a Hummer driving away. Jeez, poor kid. Where's the kid's parents? Lucifer, so I was wondering. Okay, all right, but uh, we need to be discreet about it. The uh, bed in there looks a little skanky, but I'm up for it if you are. Oh! Uh, wow, okay. 
Yeah. I mean, no. That was... Oh. Can you cry on cue? Okay, so is that dad or is that an agent of dad? Hello, brother. Okay, agent of dad. Uriel. I thought it was you. Well, welcome to Earth. What do you want, Uriel? I came to tell you that you have 24 hours. Either return here with mom or I'll finish what I started with your detective. You made a deal with dad, time to pay up. So bring mom to me or I'll take back what dad gave you. Question, okay, right. He never said dad sent him. So is Uriel using circumstances to his advantage? Is he really gonna take mom back to hell or is he gonna use mom for other reasons? Uriel can come after celestial beings like us, yes, but angels aren't allowed to kill humans. Chloe should be safe. Yeah, Uriel can play with patterns. He makes a butterfly flap its wings and a housewife gets chlamydia. Or Chloe gets into a seemingly accidental car wreck. Well, worry not, my little sex thug, because Uriel won't be a problem. We have a nuclear weapon. Which is? You. Oh. Oh. Well, Uriel doesn't know that we're working together on this. Oh. We all know he won't listen to me, but wow. he will if it's someone from the home team. Oh. So you will go and convince him that he needs to go back. Ooh. It's nice having a super powerful angel on your side, isn't it? Mm. Good luck with that. Phil Lamar! <laughs> Random! It appears that I was correct this morning. You are being targeted by cosmic forces. But fear not, it's all being dealt with, and I'm here. Yeah, I just noticed he was taking all the sharp objects from her desk. Guys, what's the cab? It's dead. Can't believe it. Oh, man, body bags one through six? First in line. I mean, I even skipped out on some of our wedding planning to see body bag six, remember? That was the big emergency? Yes, it was. Better catchphrase, wasn't it? Not on my watch. <laughs> Maybe I should get a catchphrase. You don't need a catchphrase. The boy who uh, found the body... Remember the first three plate numbers of the getaway car? Jamie Lee Adrian. The, uh, the playmate, the ex-party girl. What, what does she have to do with Wesley Cabin? She's his ex-wife. They met on the set of... Oh, well, well, that's handy. <laughs> when was the last time that you saw Mr. Cabot? A few weeks ago, maybe. Interesting. Then can you explain why a witness said that they saw you speeding away from Wesley's dojo this morning? Welcome to devil time. What also another catchphrase. Catch <laughs> what she knows what it means. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> oh. I went because of this. My life is destroyed. It all started with body bags four. Call me back. But he was already dead. And oh. I panicked and then I ran. Left he, leaving a child to find his body. Where were you at 7 a.m. this morning? With Raphael, my Pilates instructor. At 7 a.m.? That's really early for Pilates. Good God, that's early for Pilates. Well, how did your current husband feel about you visiting your ex? Well, that's easy. Kimo and Wesley hated each other. Long-standing feud. Where was Kimo this morning? Uh, at Action Con in Reno, signing autographs. At 7 o'clock this morning? <laughs> Well, Wesley, our victim, uh, was the hero of the Body Bags franchise. Oh, and in Body Bags 4, newcomer Kimo Van Zandt appeared. But and then the... Kimo's character got spun up into his own more successful franchise, The Weaponizer. Personal fave, Weaponizer 4, The Last Arsenal. So that good, bit at the end right? of the whole... <laughs> okay, I so regret asking you guys this, although you're oddly adorable. <laughs> stole his wife, stole his wow. franchise. Stole so his end it for me. everything. Again, I apologize that the children were late for school. And yes, I understand that pants need to be worn every day now. Wow. Oh, Kima Van Sant. <gasps> what? what? Is this an actual robbery or was this a something for vi videos for, you know what I mean? Wait a minute! A la cuisine! <laughs> I know y'all are going John Wick. No, I'm going Iron Chef. 
So you, former A-list, B-list actor, you're now breaking legs for the mob. Just to pay the bills. I'm broke. You're the weaponizer. What is it your badass kicking self truly desires? Hmm? I want my wife to be happy. She's my lighthouse. Oh. What happened to your man? Your lighthouse. Pathetic. <laughs> I've never heard Wesley. We were friends. We had a public rivalry, but 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 it was just for business. In reality, we share everything. The same man. Including women, ages, apparently. Wives. We even kept our friendship secret from Jamie, so it wouldn't be weird. The prints were on the murder weapon. Kimo Vincent, you're under arrest for the murder of Wesley Cabin. For half a second, I forgot what the murder weapon was. <laughs> And personally, I'm happy the judge set his bail at half a million. Oh, I thought he was broke. Oh, I paid his bail. <gasps> Even in this woeful, pathetic state, the weaponizer does not spend one minute in jail. Not on my watch. <laughs> you see what I did there? Is that interfering with an investigation? Kimo's business manager. I wanted to thank you for making his Phil. bail. <laughs> So, for someone with so many hit movies under their belt, why is he so broke? Because I'm taking his money. I mean, you know what costs more than an albino tiger? The upkeep on an albino tiger. He threw his money, didn't listen, and now there's no more coming in. So how is, how is he getting paid? Well, it's always a tragedy when someone gets killed. No, I'm talking about his tiger. I would have bought it if I'd known. Why isn't Dan checking the album? Dan. In a minute, he'll just get to walk around the police station. There might be a better way to handle this without violence. What, like hugging him back to heaven? Like hiding mom, hiding Chloe, and wait Uriel out. Good luck hiding Chloe. Brother, you've been here too long. It's changed you. More than you know. But ever since you've been here, you've had to restrain yourself. But this is Uriel. You're you. Unleash yourself. Enjoy it. His frown, like, it's almost like, how could his frown get even more? I feel bad when he frowns. Just the sight of you will send quivers down your real spine. You're right. He only needs to show up. All he needs to see is me in all of my glory. You know what to do. I don't know about this plan. What am I gonna do? <gasps> He's wearing the clothes. I really do have everything under control. Are you sure? It almost looks like you're in over your head. You really think I need your help? You, pathetic small Uriel. Not if me. God wants something done, he sends me, Uri. Me. Not you. Well, this, I don't think this is work because this is Michael Imperioli. You don't get Michael Imperioli to do one episode and be gone. I'm sorry. I'll return home. You know what? Something's bothering me. Oh, jeez. I knew it. A meta deal at full strength, I could never beat this easily. Something's happened to you. <laughs> I saw this coming, but your pride was always going to be your undoing. After all, the bigger they are, well, I think even you can guess what comes next. And, and Dad's going to let this play out. Yeah, I had a feeling I was going to go down that way. Wesley was going over all of his old body bags for stuff, mm -hmm. including his old contract. It says he's entitled to 1% of all merchandising revenue. Oh. So I had the studio send over a copy of their contract. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It says Wesley should be getting 10%. Ooh. I also took a look at Kimo Van Zandt's contract. Same thing happened to him. Kimo and Wesley shared everything. Wives, agents, business managers. Wesley figured out Ryan's scam, confronted him, and then Ryan killed him to keep him quiet. Yeah, but how did he get Kimo's prints on the murder weapon so that he could frame him? I'm going to ask him. <laughs> okay, let's just ask him, and he'll tell me freely. 
Well, by now, the threat to you should have passed, but just in case, I've some family business to attend to, all right? Fine, I'll go along. I was like, get a room already, right? What? Too soon? <laughs> Killed by your own weird award. That's gotta suck. It was actually when they got it. Kimba. There were two awards because a fight takes two people. One of the awards was given to Wesley. And one to Kimo. Someone must have switched out his award for Wesley's. That's why Kimo's Prince won. I cannot wait to hear how you sent urinal packing. <laughs> and please do not skimp on any of the gory details. I think you'll be able to see all the gory details. How is this possible, brother? I gotta spell the truth. I no longer have my powers. Is it because I released a damn soul from hell, slept with a demon? Is it because I'm working with you? Or because of mom? Or am I simply no longer worthy? Ooh, that one's a bit... That one needs Linda. We need Linda on that one. I've fallen. Oh, that was a really, really well-timed tear. Oh! But right now, I haven't got time to hold your hand because I need to clear up your mess. My mess? Uriel's still out there, and the clock is up, which means the detective is in grave danger. That's, that was poor wording. Poor wording. Poor wording. Poor wording. Ooh. Everybody needs a little. Well, this is right for for terribleness. What? You are the orange fish. You can do whatever you want. Stay. Well, I can be a California baby. It's the children. This is supposed to be a timeout to teach you a lesson. I don't think that's how timeouts work. <laughs> She's just gonna bitch slap him. Mommy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you're not so bad after all. Wow, this is blatant. What are you doing here? I could ask you two the same thing. Uh, we're just having a business meeting. Yeah. Mm. You make out with all your clients? How Wesley realized his action figures were selling like hotcakes. Did some investigating and saw that he was getting robbed. I think you should go. Unfortunately. <laughs> Sure, that's gonna work. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> no, it was her idea. <laughs> Covered in blood. Go, go. What? You stole from me. You killed Wesley. Wow! Wow! Kimo, I cared about both of you. <laughs> what? But don't let them ruin your life, too, Kimo. Please. My life is already ruined. Get out of the way. No. I'll shoot you. I don't care anymore. Seriously, dude? Lucifer, stay back. Guys, stand down. Detective, you don't know what you're up against. This was engineered to put you in harm's way. You must believe me. I know exactly what I'm up against. It's just a man who's in a lot of pain. A couple days ago, I was in a really bad car accident. And I've spent the last few days trying to convince everybody that cares about me that it wasn't a big deal. The truth is, I'm scared of how it can all just end with no rhyme or reason. We can't control what happens to us, only how it affects us and the choices we make. <sighs> They're just gonna arrest everybody now. Well, well done, detective. Kimo was about to do a very bad thing. <sighs> well, not on my watch. <laughs> Catchphrase. <laughs> I am keeping my word. You're serving out your sentence here on Earth. You know that's not what your father wanted. Do I? Everyone thinks they know what he wants. Yes. Human wars have been waged because of it. Dad showed me an open door. Does that mean I was meant to take you back to hell? Or was he insinuating that hell was getting drafty? <laughs> Nobody bloody knows because the selfish bastard won't just tell us. Not wrong. Not wrong. Trying to find a little bit. Oh, where did you find a prey, Lucifer? For a brief moment, the pattern faltered. 
We've already had this fight before, Lucifer. How do I know? In my version, you refuse to give mom up and your human friend dies. You're right. I don't know what dad wants. None of us do. But I do know what he needs. Mom's out. It's only a matter of time before she finds her way back to heaven, and then he'll forgive her. Now you're already defending her. Dad'll do the same thing. He'll let his guard down, and then she'll destroy him. And then what? I need to make sure that doesn't happen. That's Azrael's play. I borrowed it off the angel of death when she wasn't looking. That weapon will wipe her out of existence entirely. No heaven, no hell, just... Just gone. All I need to do is hit this one little key right here. And two days from now, your cute little human will finally die. You choose. Very well. Oh. You didn't see that coming, did you? I did see it coming. Okay. Does he know your fighting I style? Knew you were gonna attack. I just wasn't sure how. Okay. <laughs> okay. I needed to study you a bit. So Maze is hiding here somewhere, right? Would she just let him go by himself? She just wouldn't like be sitting in the shadows. You're lucky I'd never use Azriel's blade on you, brother. So he says. <gasps> you haven't disappointed, Masaki. Your patterns were tough to see. How long does it take her to heal? Because you made it so difficult. Now I'm gonna take out mom and the detective. You can't stop me, bro. <gasps> I didn't see that coming. Why not? I guess he figured Lucifer, Lucifer wouldn't go there? What did he say? I couldn't understand. Frick got what he deserved. Did he? Well, he needed to be stopped. He was my brother. He needed to be stopped, but... Nah. Ooh. So what kind of sin is that? God, dad, 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 God didn't intervene. I love the way they blacklit everybody who comes into that elevator. Where's your view? The old life is over. What have I done? <laughs> The old life is over. Well, that's a choice of song now, isn't it? Well, there were some interesting moments. To this one wasn't there. The whole kind of butterfly effect thing. Moving that skateboard one inch <laughs> to the right. Car accident. And then Chloe's terrified. Reminded me of the line in Strictly Bob one where life lived in fear is a life half lived. You never know when it's going to end. So you can't live in fear. Very heavy. Is Uriel really gone? For reals, for reals. And when he died, he just kind of died. He didn't like <laughs> disintegrate into gold dust, turn to stone, ash. He just died. Died, died. Are we gonna see Azrael then come back for the blade? I mean, what does this mean? What are the implications of this? And dad didn't step in once. The all knowing, the all powerful. Didn't, didn't just let it go. We'll just let it go. Why did he just let it go? And how does this change Lucifer?
That's the most broken we have ever seen him. And what is mom's plan plan? There's lots of things that are, I feel, there's lots of ingredients going into different pots. <laughs> they're not simmering yet, but they're being put together. And what are we going to make from them? And what meal are we going to get as a whole? I don't know. <laughs> so I know what that means. I know you're going to say, just watch the next episode. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So that's episode six. I'm not sure how many we are in the season, so I don't know where we are in the arc. You know how I like to predict where we are going in the arc. Mm -hmm. But don't be strangers. Hit subscribe so you know when the next episode drops. And in the meantime, this is your reminder to stand up, stretch your body, try to touch your toes, do some neck rolls, go get something to eat, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all, and until next time.